Good afternoon. Hi there. So I'm stood, believe it or not, the, the southern or the eastern entrance, southeast entrance of Sheffield, the old Sheffield Victoria railway station. Just through the fence and then beyond that other fence down there. So I'm gonna go and have a scout around today just to have a look at the history of the station and see what we can see. So we can't go on the station. The station is demolished. It's still a live railway line, it's still the, the line up to Stocksbridge, but it used to be the Woodhead line, the old Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway, later the Great Central Railway, and it's got an absolutely fascinating history behind it. And it's hard to not feel sad when you hear the name Sheffield Victoria Station. So this is part two of a series I'm putting together on some of Sheffield's lost stations and good stations. Part one was on the Park Good Station that's just next door to Sheffield Victoria. The subject of Sheffield Victoria is something that's fascinated me for many years, right from first going under the Wicker Arch on a bus as a young child. Someone of my generation can only look at photographs, read accounts and admire some of the vast architecture and wasteland of the old viaducts and surrounding buildings. It's fair to say it's not the most glamorous areas of Sheffield, but what could have been if the station was still in use today? In this video, I'm going to be having a scout around the outside of the old station, looking for remains and interesting things to point out along the way, before ascending the old station approach ramp to stand in what was part of the old station. Obviously, the station no longer exists, and where the tracks are is a mixture of a hotel extension, existing live railway line and inaccessible shrubbery, so some imagination is going to be required. There's the bridge, there's the Sheffield and Tinsley Canal down there, so we're on the approach to the station there. You can see the bridge. So in that direction, down towards London, Leicester, Nottingham, Great Central Railway, as we, we know and love, and that way towards Manchester. You can see the archways underneath. You can see how wide the trap bed is above there. I'll just mute that traffic noise and tell you a little bit about the history of the station as we start to walk around it. It was opened in 1851 by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway, which later became more well known as the Great Central Railway. An important line linking Sheffield, Manchester, Nottingham, among others, to London. We're no stranger to the Great Central Railway as we've covered other sections just south of Sheffield before. West of Sheffield, the line was more commonly referred to as the Woodhead Line, named after the famous tunnel under the Pennines. You'll notice in some old photos the site of wires and poles that you see on electrified railways. By 1954, the line was electrified between Manchester and Sheffield, the first main line to be electrified in the UK. It's hard to imagine these days that Sheffield once had an electrified main line. In the 1960s, Dr Beechin decided that only one line was needed to cross the Pennines between the two cities, the Woodhead route was axed in favour of the present-day Hope Valley Line. Passenger services across Woodhead ceased in 1970 and Sheffield Victoria closed in the same year. Squeeze the camera through the fence. It's underneath another arch. It's the other side of the, of the viaduct. A little bit less traffic noise around here, that was awful. Stood on that road. But we are looking into the sun from this way. See a lot of these arches, some of them are businesses. Got a self-storage one there, but a lot of them are just there, uh, just empty. down onto the side of the River Don. That's looking up back at the uh, the Royal Victoria Hotel, which was a station hotel essentially. Oh, it's much 
How much nicer is that away from that traffic? I always love looking at these old photographs on these information boards. So that's the Wicker Arch. So we can see a bit from down here, post up there, if you can make it out. That to me looks like an old um, gantry from the, the electrification. Because of course this, this railway line was electrified. There you can see there's like a there's like an entrance way, there's like an archway if you can make that out. I think that's um, to the stairs to the entrance that we'll see on the other side in a few minutes. So we're gonna have another walk under another one of the arches. A great view from down here, isn't it? So this would be the uh, the Manchester end of the station. But this is Cobweb Bridge, this is part of the five weirs walk. You can walk down the River Don, so it passes under the old or the arch. It's looking back towards Sheffield. I mean, this is fairly recent. This I don't I can't remember what year this was put in. Um, but it's not a new thing. Well, there's one of the spiders. <laughs> a bit of ironwork at this side as well. Looking back through another another archway. So we're gonna be going back out into the noise any minute now. Just walking around the western, the Manchester end of the station now. Old pub in front there called the station. Right, this archway, I think this is the bottom of that corridor. Can't see in, unfortunately. From what we saw from the other side, you see the archway at the top. Look at that, there's an ornate little piece of ironwork there as well. I'm assuming there'd have been stairs coming down there, so that would have been above the stairs. Such a shame, isn't it? What a structure. The size of that window up there as well. Climb on top of this fridge and see if I can uh, get a view over there. And what a great view that is up that old staircase. Uh, I'm glad I climbed on top of that fridge. I walked past it initially. But these were the steps and I believe there was also a lift as well um, somewhere along this block that also went up towards the platforms and the hotel. Now this photo is from the top and it was on the Don Valley Railway Facebook group as you can see there from the text. But this was quite obviously after the station had closed. But I find it fascinating that out of view just by the Wicker which is a really busy street we've got this um, old piece of stairway that's just left behind abandoned. what these coats of arms were now. So that's the, the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway Company. I think, I can't see the top. It's a bit eroded. There's a former station hotel.
So we're walking along the western end of the station now. So this is a Manchester end. And what I'm going to do is see if I can get a vantage point above the station to look down on it. And then I'm going to go around the other side and walk up the approach ramp and have a scout about where the platforms once were. So we're at the bridge house's end of the station now. It's lovely in this shade. That western end of Manchester end, just up there. I won't be going up there, I've done that before. That's the Fiery Jack Spittle Tunnel. Go and watch my video of that experience. Not a nice, to be honest, that looks like it's been tidied up quite a lot since the last time I was here. It was all, it was just full of fly tipping. Bit of a uh, bit of a drug dealer's central up there though. What a fascinating piece of, uh, of history, Sheffield Railway history, nonetheless. I'm just walking up this hill to see if we can get a good vantage point above the station. Oh, yeah, I've just come, wow, come up and have a look here over the top of the station. So I can't believe how overgrown that is now. What a huge sight, what a waste. In the city centre, it really is. And you can see the, the wicker arch, we've just been walking underneath there. And the main body of the station was all you can see the Royal Victoria Hotel there. So that was where, where the, main, the main part of the station would have been. So we've seen that that station's on quite an imposing viaduct. So what was the station approach? How did you get up to the station? So we're about to find out now. So we're at the bottom of the station approach ramp. It's now branded to match the hotel. Here we are, we're climbing up gradually up towards the station. You can see that the walls for the station and the archways straight in front. If I bring you onto the road you might get a better better view of the station approach because these trees are quite mature now. I'm assuming these have been planted after. There's the Royal Victoria Hotel. And this is the road just underneath here that we was walking alongside. So we're crossing over that now. When this bridge is new, this was put in when the uh, when the bit of a ring road was, was built. But look, got a little bit of artwork and signage just to nod to the history of the site. Refreshment rooms, sounds, sounds appealing today. So from the old photographs, the station buildings would have been right in front of us here. The hotel was extended, that, that newer section that you can see there straight in front. It's a lovely old building, isn't it, that? So we'll have a wander around, we'll have a mooch around um, the site of this old hotel, which is on the site of the station, and I'll try and piece it together from what I've seen from photos, from accounts that I've read. So this would have been, I understand, the old staircase down, the subway to platform, to platform one. The subway went underneath. Now you can see the tiles, and you can see that the line, I'm assuming, would have followed, followed the steps. Now, I was sent this photo recently, and I'm not sure of the original source of the photo, so apology for that.
Now I'm a little confused about its exact location and I'm hoping somebody can help just throw some light on that. I wasn't sure if it was from that old staircase that went down to the wicker, but now I'm thinking maybe, maybe that staircase we can see here on platform one. And the big retaining wall from the station that you can see from the road below. So this would have been platform one then, I'm assuming. An old windows, doorway there. And look, you can still see, it's cut off there. Are they the girders that support the roof? I bet they are, aren't they? So yeah, the, a lot of the, the station site, as you can see, it's now a car park for the hotel. I suppose if this was platform one, everything this side would have been platforms and railway lines. And I believe this is an old DMU actually sat in platform one, seen here bound for Doncaster. Let's see if we can see through this gate. very overgrowing. There is a track there, that's the live railway line I mentioned, Stocksbridge, Stocksbridge Steelworks. And we have got a little bit of railway line, you can actually see this on Google Maps. I believe it's something to do with a network rail yard training or something like that, a set of points or something in there isn't it? Well, the line, the, the railway line, the live railway lines, this, the other side of that wooden fence. Looks like it needs a visit from the weed killer train. I was hoping we'd be able to see over into the, into the site, but not to be. Nature's certainly got a grasp of that little area, hasn't it? No chance. Might be better in winter gaps in the trees but again it's just more trees just having a sneak into this corner because I suspect there's something we can see. Put the camera through the fire escape there. It's the river down there. Just down here. You can't really see, can you, for the trees? Oh, that's a shame. But that was a walkway, I understand, down to a subway. Never mind. Maybe one to come back and have a nosy round in winter. Don't know if it'll make a difference or not. Just in front of the hotel, we've got the old war memorial. Look at that there. I'm sure this used to be down on the, underneath the arches. Look, if you just keep your eye open around these old walls, these retaining walls, you see see things like this. Look at this tiled off section here. So that's filling in a gap that's been left some description. And you can see like recesses with ducting and cabling. I'll leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this little look round um, the old Sheffield Victoria station site as much as we possibly legally can do. As always, I love to hear your comments and things, anything that I do. If there's anything I've missed, just shout it out. I'm off to find a nice cold drink now. It must be well into the 30s temperature wise. So as always, cheers for watching. Appreciate the support. Take care and I'll see you soon.